Today we're going to take a look how to add grainy shadows on 3D extruded text here in Illustrator. I'm going to go with the Mango Extra Bold, right click on the text, create outline, select a color for it. And from here let's go to the effects, 3D material, 3D classic, extrude and bevel. Now here you can increase or decrease the extrusion depth and you also can rotate however you like. After you are satisfied click OK and we're going to go to the object, expand appearance, right click on group, right click on group again. And here you can see these shapes, which contain some gradient, but we're gonna need to unite these. So I gotta select this shape, press and hold shift and select these guys. And I gotta go to the pathfinder, click on unite and do the same thing with the rest as well. And I gotta add some gradients on these guys right here. And I gotta go to the gradient, click on the gradient, press the letter G and let's go and double click on the white choose a lighter color and for the darker a darker orange and you also can press the letter g to you know just make it even darker a little bit now let's do the same with this even darker one okay so from here we're going to add the grains so we're going to need to duplicate one of these extrusions press ctrl c and then ctrl f or you can go to edit paste in front this way is going to create another copy on the top and we're going to change up the gradient to black and white I gotta go with black and this one is gonna be white. Now let's go to the effects. Let's go to texture, select the grain. And here you can see how it's gonna look. It's gonna look like this because I selected the stippled effect and I increased the intensity. You can also decrease it and adjust it how you like. Contrast is on low, click OK. And now I'm gonna go to the opacity, change up the blend mode to multiply. And as you can see, these pixels are kind of big. So for this situation, I'm going to increase the letter R, select everything, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up and check it out. It is going to make this uh, pixelated grain more subtle and more refined. And you can select it, press the letter G and you also can customize it however you like, rotate it. I'm going to do the same thing with the rest as well. And not at least I'm going to do the same thing with the top one, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, but this one is going to be a little bit more different. So let's select the black and white, arrange it, let's add the effect, click OK, and this time we're going to change the blend mode to soft light, and I'm going to also decrease the opacity quite a bit, so it's going to look something like this. There you go! And this is how you make this grainy effect on 3D extruded text here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.